All right. Uh, so things happened. Don't worry about it. I have a uh, no. You know what? L let's look into this in a second. I'm a little bit off kilter because I had an audio desync issue. And I'm just not going to put that footage on online because it's too much of a pain to fix. So anyway, I made a treasure house. Really, it's just because of these treasure chests here, which are totally useless apart from decoration. Um, but it gives me extra points for this tre uh, for this like chest room. So I'll take that until I can find something a little bit better. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I've got this, and it's worth, like, 200 extra points. I don't know, it's cool. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Why did I do that? Uh, I can, I can... Well, actually, no, this is what I wanted to do. Where is it? Uh, flagstone flooring. And we want all of that. Wow, we do not have a whole lot of flagstone flooring left, but that's fine. But yeah, so we'll add a little bit of extra... Wow, that's actually worth a ton of extra points there. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that for the time being. I think what I'm going to do is have uh, three rows of buildings here, or something, or maybe everything just gathered around the central square. I'll have to figure it out. Anyway, so the other thing that I've done is I finally went back and got the blueprint for the greasy mallet, um, which is a restaurant, apparently. I had no idea. Um, but yeah, so this is a blueprint that we picked up yesterday, but we couldn't actually... Um, oops. But we couldn't actually use because I didn't have enough inventory space for it, which was really strange. All right, let's go grab some more dirt because we're going to need it for this. Let's put away the ivy, the these. Honestly, I'm not actually going to be able to finish this. Um, I'm not going to be able to finish this uh, this restaurant for some time. I'm also really curious as to why it requires three um, uh, three layers of wall in the back. But you know what? I'm not the kind of person to complain. I am actually the kind of person to complain. I qu complain quite a lot, which a lot of people get grumpy about, but whatever. I might want to redo the uh, the back stone wall for whatever reason. Eh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so what else do we need, do we need here? We need a paw. Oh! I get this. Oh, that's really cool. So if you look at this here, um... You can actually see, I converted these dirt blocks into stone blocks, and they're going to stay that way forever. So I can actually use these to make more, um, barding and stuff. Well, that's really cool. Alright, so we need a cooking fire, a pot, a couple of things. The main issue is we need to get a salad plate. I might actually be able to make that. I might actually be able to make this whole thing. However, we're going to need to go actually make this stuff. This is neat. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna spend a little bit of time sitting around in, in town making stuff. Uh, so we're gonna need a bonfire so I can make the cooking thing and go from there. This is cool. I like this. I love I love the uh, the town building system. So let's get uh, we need at least one stone step. That's five. I don't know if it cares what kind of door we use, but I'll go with the saloon door. Now is it stone stool? Oh, stone stone table. We need actually we probably need two stone stool uh four stone stools and two stone tables. I might need more steps too. We'll figure that out. I should work on second floor housing. Yep, that's gonna be the second part of uh this entire process. I got a couple other things I need to do too. Um oh right. We're gonna make the, the cooking fire. There we are. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna update the uh the town a bit. We should see if we can get some more wood and maybe make, like, floor coverings for wood. Because I wouldn't mind, like, stone walls and floors and stuff. Okay, so view. Oh, it needs the straight-up wooden door. Uh, well, I guess I'll steal that from somewhere. Uh, so, yep. Two stone tables. This is gonna be cool. Okay, stairs there. Is it, ah, chest here. Oops. Uh oh. Guess it's time for me to go take a nap before the the wizard attacks me. There we go. Perfect. Don't have anything to worry about. Uh, let's see. Screen just went black for a second. Okay, good. That's just me. That's just me resting. Okay, so we need one of the couple of chests. You know what? I'm not going to use them from the, from that room. We'll just get another. They're so easy to get my hands on. Let's see, where is it? Regular chest. 
And what else did I need? I need, um, cookware, but I think that's actually really easy to get my hands on. So we'll, we'll just make that while we're here. Like, uh, when I say really easy to get my hands on, I mean, like, literally, I think we're gonna have the, um, thing. Okay, so we're gonna need one set of crockery. Does that, ah, we've learned how to make a salad plate. Okay, a serving of salad that's as hearty as it is healthy cannot be eaten. 200 points. Wait. Uh, do we make that here? Yes, salad plate probably requires fruit salad. Luckily, I've got a ton of materials for that, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, so we actually get to make the, uh, the greasy mallet. Okay, so let's take a look at this again. One. Two. And then all that we're missing, two, two sconces, a pot. Oh. Uh, you know what? Let's ignore this. Worst comes to worst. Let, let's see if I can make this without first. Okay, let's see if I can make a wooden door. Might not be able to. We need two sconces, so we'll do that in a second. Just kill the wizard. The problem is the wizard respawns, so there's not really a point to it. Okay, can I make a wooden door? The answer looks to be no. That sucks. You know, in retrospect, I didn't even need to do that, but who cares? Okay, we built an empty room. Level up, we are now level four. Let's see if I can totally bypass the requirements of dirt. Because they're stupid anyway. And I hate it. Okay. Does it really need to be made out of dirt? Ah, needs a pot. Okay, I knew I was missing one, one thing from this. Let's see if I can... I really don't need the, that many pots, honestly. But let's see if I can, uh... Do this without the dirt flooring. Please work. Please work. No. What am I missing? I'm missing the chest. Okay, so we've made our first cook fire cafe. So it actually doesn't require nearly as many of these things as I thought. Anyway, kitchen. A relaxed restaurant where one chef... Oh, one can chew the fat with friends. Residents will cook food and put it in the chest. Prevents your hunger meter from falling while inside your base. Ah, oh, nice! So that means I don't have to worry about anything and everybody's super excited now, which means I can dig this place up. Cost me some points, but means we actually have a restaurant now. Yes! Okay, uh, so I guess while we're here, let's grab the greasy mallet thing. Let's just remove the blueprint. So we don't care about it anymore, and we've got all this spare food stuff that we don't need for the time being. But the... actually... yeah, I don't really have a place to put the crockery, do we? Oh, well, I'll take it. Alright. So next up... Let's see, we've got a ton of dirt. Actually, we kind of want to do it in this manner. So, now that we've got our first mostly permanent, um, residence. I'd still like to figure out if, um, if I can have, uh, what am I thinking? Uh, wooden floors. Wooden floors have got to be, like, a possible thing. So we're gonna put Pippa's room directly on top of this. I don't know how... You know what? We'll see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can put a, um... I'm gonna see if I can put a... There we go. Let's see, can I do that? Nope, can't do that while I'm jumping, but that's fine. Yeah, I want to see if uh, residents can climb ladders, because if they can climb ladders, that would make my life real easy. Let's see, do I have any spare ladder blocks, or do I have to make them? I have to make them. Okay. Because, yeah, if if Pippa can climb a ladder and get into her, our, uh, into her bedroom house, whatever, that'll be a hell of a lot easier than some of the alternatives. So can I really not make any kind of... Let's get some cord. Let's go grab some wood. Oh, you can jump over those. Well, that's handy. Yeah, we still got the tree in the center of our base, but I think I'm going to leave that alone for the time being. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so it actually has to be dirt. Sort of. So we made the restaurant. We didn't make the greasy mallet, but that's fine. 
We didn't really need to make a greasy mallet after all. All we needed to do was, um... Uh, just make a restaurant. Greasy mallet just got to kind of come along. Okay, so let's go see if I can make, uh, wooden flooring. Because if it's cord plus flooring, maybe we'll be lucky. I don't know. And we've also got uh, a couple of, like, miscellaneous buildings. And I also do want to update this place. So let's make one wood for the time being. Maybe I need, like, several? I might also have to look these things up, too. Let's see, could the greasy mallet have a greater bonus to it? Nope. No, it's just teaching me the basics to a restaurant. Okay, let's try looking up wood flooring Dragon Quest Builders. Let's see if people have anything to say about wood building. Uh, you know what? Let's try Dragon Quest Builders recipes. Let's see if there's, uh, anything about this. Otherwise, we just make everything about, um, uh, otherwise we just make everything out of stone or something. Um... Okay, wooden floor. Stone floor, stone wall, brick wall. Yeah, no, it doesn't actually look like there's a, uh, a, uh, alright, that sucks. So there's no wooden flooring in this game. That's kind of lazy. Okay, are you gonna build stone walls around your town? Yes. I don't know if uh, the town leveling up necessarily increases its size, though. We might be stuck with this to some degree. Which I'm a little bit concerned about, but we'll, f we'll deal with it as that comes. Okay. Well, I think I'll stick with the flagstone flooring and the stone walls, just to differentiate. It'd be pretty boring if we had everything be stone. So let's do ladder. Okay. So if we do stone wall right there. Okay, so we need... Oh, you know what? Whoops. Okay. Luckily, that doesn't matter. Okay. What if we do something like this? We're gonna move this over here. Um... If I have... If I have this... Really? I don't... Okay, I kind of do. It's awkward. But I can kind of do something like this. And that's okay. Except for... It needs to be higher. Because if we want this room to be... Dang it. Alright, so we need the ladder system to be much higher. Also, interestingly enough, the floor system works differently. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to do this. There we go. Apparently, the, oh, and we're going to break the restaurant in like two seconds if we do Okay, there we go. We fixed it. So, interestingly enough, it actually determines whether you're on a floor or a wall based on your... Um, like how vertical your character is. Interesting. Let's see. There we go. It's kind of a cramped restaurant, honestly. But there we go. Okay. So now that we've got that taken care of, we want to go one tile higher. Because we want to we wanna break these... It's going to be a bit of a, uh, a trek into the house, but that's fine. Okay, there we go. And what we can have is kind of a patio thing on the front. Oh, is this, this place? It is odd in width. That's unfortunate. Anyway, do we have any other doors? I guess we'll take this one for the time being. 
Okay, let's fill this in with dirt, which apparently we're totally out of. Well, that's fine. <laughs> it's not like I don't already- I don't still have like a thousand dirt sitting around in my inventory. Wall converters go up more than two blocks. Oh, really? Okay, whatever. I mean, I've got 53 of them, so I'm not exactly concerned about efficiency here. But yeah, it doesn't look like they go down any further, which is kind of the the point I was going for. Okay, so flagstone flooring. Yeah, there's a slight difference. Wish it was wood. I guess I could have done straw, but that would have been really, really strange looking. Oh, hey, Panzer. But yeah, let's let's make Pippa's room up top here. With luck, she'll climb. Uh, she'll be able to climb. Otherwise, we'll just have some kind of staircase. Uh, walkway system, because we already know for a fact... Um, we already know for a fact uh, NPCs will climb up to second floors if they have to, but they will not go through rooms to get to their... Uh, like other rooms to get to their own rooms, which is interesting. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a shit shack for the time being. We really need to figure out how to make those wooden doors. Uh, but this will be fine. Okay, so what did... What does Pippa need? Uh, let's see. I guess she's asleep, so we'll we'll get with her in a second. Okay, Pippa, what did you need in your room? So we need a bed. Okay. So what does she need? Straw mattress, pot, and lady sign on the wall. Okay, that's actually really, really easy and really simple. Okay, so not straw floor. Straw mattress. I don't know why she needs the pot, honestly. And lady sign. Yeah, so at some point I will definitely set it up so we have uh, one for every towns townsperson. But for the time being, I just want to see if, uh, I want to see if this works. Because I have, I don't know. Alright, let's put the lady sign right here. Oh, right. We're going to want some kind of, uh, light source, presumably. I'll just put a torch in the corner. Okay, empty room. And then we want to do a pot. I'll just take all of them, because this is easier. And we've made our first private bedroom. So it's worth 200 points, can be assigned as the resident's private room. Gotcha, right? Who's this? Pippa. Yes. And then we'll put roofs on, on these or something. So hopefully she will actually use this bedroom. She might not, though. Hooray! You've made me a room of my very own. Thank you, dude. Ken Elm spends the whole night plotting her around the city, and LaRouche keeps screaming in his sleep. And Rolo snows so loudly I'm scared the walls will collapse. I can't concentrate at all on my super secret project. Huh? What's my super secret project? Hehe. <laughs> well, that's super secret, silly. Please, uh, but don't worry. I'll tell you when it's ready. Oh, and it would be really great if you could write my name on the side of the room. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. We might have to we might have to do stairs and stuff. Oh, dude, thanks for making a room just for me. Now that I finally have my own space, I've been able to finish my super secret project. This whole time I've been making new clothes for everyone. I gave Rolo his outfit first to see how it looked on him, but he wouldn't try it on. He s said he couldn't possibly get changed in front of everyone else. So, dude, I was wondering if you could build a room where we could all change into our new outfits. It would need to have a couple of stone stools for us to sit on and something to keep all the clothes in. You think you can invent something for storing clothes, dude? Okay, we've learned out how to make an armoire. And that's it. Okay. Well, for the time being, I guess let's go put that down. So I'll make two stone stools, presumably. I don't know. I might only need one. We'll just make one for the time being. I don't use them very often. And armor. Yeah! Okay. She just wants you to build everything. That's the entire point of this game, in fact. It's the only thing I do. Build things for people. Well, no, there is adventuring too. But the entire point of it is so I can... So I can, uh... 
uh, decorate things. Okay, she said a couple, so I guess we're gonna need more. Do I have any spare stone stools? I might? Uh, not there. I vaguely remember filching some from somewhere. The answer is no. We've got a different kind of stool. I'm just gonna stick with stone stools for the time being. Okay. Let's do this. I think I'm gonna lean back a little bit. Casual time. Let's just do three. They're worth points. I didn't forget anything else, did I? I don't even remember. Music from this game reminds you heavily of Quest 64. Yeah, I guess it I guess it could. It's been a long time since I've even heard of Quest 64. That was that was an odd duck game to begin with. Liked it though. Or I liked the idea of it, I think, more than the execution. Okay, so we've made our first dressing room. So it requires two chairs and a light source. I'll just grab this one. Woo! What a lovely dressing room. Thank you so much, dude. Rolo, LaRouche, and Kenelm haven't changed their clothes since uh, once since they got here. Whenever they're nearby, they smell so bad I think I might faint. But now they can change into the clothes I made, and I can finally take out the earth I shoved up my nose to block the smell. Thanks again, dude. By the way, I made a lovely new dress for myself, too. I'll change into it right away. And she gives me eggs. Well, I should probably get out and... So how does... When does she change? Oh, wait. Is that... That can't be her. I'm confused. Are they going to change clothes, or is everybody just gonna... Ah, they sparkled their way into the new clothes. I got it. Well, this is weird. Rolo's clothes look exactly like normal Rolo clothes, but slightly less shitty. Okay, with the stone stockade keeping the monsters at bay, we can finally concentrate on making Cantlin great again. However, I've noticed that you've had your hands full lately, tending to the various whims and whimsies of your townspeople. It seems you haven't had much time to focus on your own building work, so I'm giving you free reign to build whatever pops into that funny little head of yours. You can build new rooms, or furniture, or even just replace the walls of your current buildings with something a little bit more durable. You need to practice your building skills and become a better builder than ever before. In doing so, you'll bring the city another step closer to its glorious revival. So go, dude. Do what uh, you must to take this town and your building skills to another level. By my lustrous locks, the city is looking better than ever. Your building skills are just as the Cantlin Chronicle describes. But dude, my boy, you still have a long way to go. It is nearly time for you to seek out one who can bring even more... Of your powers of create, bring out even more of your powers of creation. The Cantlin Chronicle describes a legendary blacksmith who went by the name of Magog. Though Magog lived many hundreds of years ago, it seems his descendant is still alive somewhere. If we are to stand any chance of defeating the monster who rules this land, we must find a way of uh, to build even stouter walls and stronger weapons. If anyone knows the secrets of forging such items, the scion of Magog may be our man. I'll gather all the information I can about him and let you know as soon as I've tracked him down. When that time comes, dude, I hope I can count on you to do your duty. Okay. Seed of life. And it looks like it's battle time, which means it's not battle time. It means let's grab as much uh, dirt as I can from my inventory. Put away the eggs. Yep. Right. I don't get hungry while I'm inside the town walls. Let's get our HP up to 77. At some point, I should go dragon slaying, come to think of it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're finally going to make the wall. Okay, so is this transparent to transparent? Okay, so right here. We're going to need a lot of dirt for this. Because, yeah, I want, I want the, uh, the town wall to actually be outside of town. And we already built a wall. I know. Sucks. Or at least we built one a while back. But whatever. Yeah, so my goal here... Uh, go back, rebuild the wall around town, turn it into stone. At some point, we'll probably have to replace this thing. Which might be a huge amount of work and kind of a pain in the ass. But we'll cross that, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah, if we're gonna get attacked, I'd rather not have a bunch of dudes hammer hammering away at my walls. While I'm fighting them. I might actually even put down some more stone spikes. Uh, along the entire western side to make this really easy. Let's see. Does he know how to make spikes? Oh yeah, I do. Don't worry. 
I got that down. We just gotta... We just gotta make the spikes. Though, it is gonna be kind of lame just to spike all the enemies to death. I guess that's also kind of okay. So it takes... what? A little shy of 300? Earth? To wall off the entire city? I guess I'm okay with that. I see him right here. Perfect. Yeah, we still don't know if Pippa will use her bedroom. I hope she will. But I might have to do, um... Damn it. I might have to do... Uh, what am I thinking? Nope, I don't remember. I don't remember what I was saying. I got really distracted because of how the, the way the walls work. And that's okay. Yeah, so we'll do this. I'll have to break up all of these, like, brick walls because they look awful compared to the stone. I really love the the way all the blocks have been modeled in this game. Like, I don't, I don't mind the uh, brick wall. It's just not as nice as the stone wall. Uh, though eventually we might want to consider going for, like, castle. We'll think about it. I should probably also get at least a couple of doors here. I guess we could just have a ladder into town. Into and out of town. Because, yeah, currently we're stuck in. What I could do is just build over. But that'd be really lame. Wouldn't be terrible, but not, uh, not the end of the world. Yeah, we've got this. I guess what I could do is just have... That there. Yeah, luckily the, the stockade spikes don't hurt me at all. Which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but I'll take it. Okay, so if I put a ladder here... No? Here? You know, this works. Actually, you know what? Let's Let's put stairs on this. Let's make it a little nicer. I don't think enemies can climb ladders. And if we're lucky, that's going to make this entire situation really kind of easy to deal with. Eventually, I'll make the walls a bit better, too, but whatever. We'll take this for the time being. By my knobby knees, dude! I have terrible news! It seems the monster plan to attack us again, and in greater force than ever. We do have the stone stockade on our side, and stronger weapons than ever before, but still, we must not let our guard down. Be sure all your weapons and engines are close at hand and be ready to face the enemy down. So, dude, are you prepared for battle? Yes? Okay, so for lucky, I can just stand here and watch them die. Okay, let's see if I can get them to notice I'm here. This is dumb. And see, so we got some brownies, but... Oh, they, they beat up my ladder! It was my ladder! Ah, right, whatever. That was phase one out of two. Should probably switch to my sword, just in case I have to fight things. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna be here for a while. Um, doing... Well, not really much of anything. You know what? Let's see if I can build some stuff. While we wait for the monsters to kill themselves. Uh, so if we go here, can I get... Yeah, braziers. Let's get, like, two of them. It's not like they're really gonna illuminate, but it'll look nice. Yeah, so it might... I don't know, I'll have to figure out if there's a better way of doing this. But for the time being, this is okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like... Well, it doesn't... It doesn't make anything brighter. But still, this works. Wow. This is dumb. He's trying. I'll give him that. 
stunned himself on the wall. I guess I'll go help. Oh, killed him with a crit. I killed him with a crit. Oh, shit. You know what? I just... No, I can't make a stockade around the dragon. Damn it. I was hoping I could. And we got a red teleportal. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. And the town levels up-ish. Oh, the flag goes up. And everything's better. We get more quests. So I'm probably going to want to keep messing with town for at least a little while longer before I do anything else.